Hi, this is Pavel with a C sharp exercise, and today the assignment is very simple. Determine the lowest and highest number in a two dimensional array. Uh, it's actually array of integers, but uh, alright, so we are given a 2D array and we are supposed to find whatever the lowest number is and what is the highest number in the array. So, um, mm, they didn't provide any array, so I'll just create my own. Uh, so it's a two-dimensional array, so I'll just call it my array, obviously with the comma in, b in, b in the brackets, it means that it's a two-dimensional array. And let's initialize it to a two-dimensional array, but I'm going to initialize it with some numbers. Uh, I already have them ready, doesn't really matter what numbers you use. Now, I'm using... Uh, uh, I'm just writing it this way so you can kind of uh, see you know how those numbers uh, flow basically that you have a row one two three four five six seven eight rows and you have columns in this case two columns so you have two numbers in each dimension basically making two columns this is important to realize because this is uh, what will what we will be basing our loops on. Alright, so uh, I'm going to comment it out just to, uh, uh, you know, if you want to download the code so you have some comments Sh to the array. That's very simple. And now, like I said, we have we have to determine uh, how many rows we have. I mean, I decided to have eight, but you know, you can get any number of rows and uh, the program should be flexible enough to not depend on or have hard-coded number of uh, rows and the same with the columns and in order for us to do that uh, C sharp has a very uh, very handy uh, uh, very handy uh, command or a, or a function called get length so I'm going to create an integer called number of rows and the syntax for it is the name of the array which is my array dot get length now get length returns the length or, or the number of uh, elements in the dimension so if I do zero that will basically give me the number of rows and similarly, we, we have two dimension. We know that it's a two dimensional array. So get length zero will give me the rows, and the get length one, which would be over here, the dimension one, will give me two because there are two elements, which basically call uh, makes two columns. So if I go integer number of columns equals my array dot get length and this is the number one so uh, let me test that like I'll do console dot read key just to pause the screen I'm going to press put a breakpoint over here so when we come to the end of the program you can see the number of rows now equals eight and number of columns equals two and these are the numbers that I will be using in the loops that we have to go through in order to find the uh, lowest and the highest number in those uh, in the array. All right, so um, basically the principle, uh, the, uh, the method of doing this is similar to uh, my previous exercise where I was finding highest and lowest number in a regular uh, one-dimensional array. In this case, we're, gonna, we're going to have two loops, one outer loop and one inner loop. We're going to have nested loop. But uh, just as before, we'll do the integer lowest, which will hold the lowest number uh, that we find. But we will initialize it to the first element in the array. By default, we'll simply assume, okay, this is the lowest number. Uh, and we'll do the same with the highest. We will simply initialize it to 
my array zero zero so now both of these uh, variables will have a value of one because that's the zero zero and what we will be doing we'll be comparing that value both of these with all the other values in the in the array so um, again let me just uh, get number of rows and columns and over here uh, we will simply assign the first index to both lowest and highest so now we have that we have the number of rows number of columns we can do the loops so we will do loop through outer loop which will equal to the number of rows so it will go row by row one number uh, one row at a time and to do that it's for integer i equals zero i is less than number of uh, number of rows and of course i plus plus so that is our outer loop that's our loop that goes through the rows and the, our inner loop we will go through uh, inner loop which will equal the number of columns so we will do for integer c equals zero c is less than the number of columns oh, not rows columns and c plus plus and in this loop we will simply check whether we are the number that we are currently on is less than the lowest or higher than the highest so we will do get current number we are on so the loop is on so we will do integer number equals my array and the index of that of the current number we're on is simply i because that's the outer loop and c so at the beginning i and c will be zero then i will be still zero but c will be one then we'll go back here now i equals one c equals zero so now we check in number four now uh, i still equals uh, one uh, c will equal one so we check in eight and so forth so and inside it's just a matter of simple condition uh, check if the number is lower if it is if so replace lowest with number so that simply means that if our number is less than the lowest then we will replace it our lowest will now equal the number and similarly we will do check if the number is higher if so replace highest with number and that's a simply if the number is greater than highest then our highest equals number and that's really all we have to do all now all that is left now is simply output console dot right line lowest number is and we will place a uh, placeholder and we will replace it with lowest whatever the value is uh, in it at the end of the loops and console dot right line uh highest number is and that will be highest except of course this is a comma it's not a uh, semi comma so um if you look at the loop i mean uh, in the array you can see that the lowest number is one and the highest number is 87 so we should get that as our result 
and our lowest number is 1, highest is 87. So let's replace one of these, for example, with 0. Now the lowest should be 0, and it is. Now let's do like a, let's say the last number will be the highest. I'll change it to 100, and it still picks it up, 0 and 100. Now, if we add some numbers, let's say we add, I don't know, 65 and 86, 99, whatever, uh, or 101, or maybe negative 5, that which would be our lowest for uh, right now. Let's do negative 2, and 7, and let's say 7 again, and 99. So now the lowest should be negative 5 and the highest should be 101 we should not need to change anything here because we are we have our number of rows and we have a number of columns that now changed now uh, our columns will be uh, will be free it should be automatically we can uh, let me put the uh, breakpoint there before we run the whole thing and number of rows is still 8 they didn't change a number of columns is now free. We added one additional number to each uh, to each uh, uh, dimension. So um, let's run it and let's see what we get. And we got indeed minus five and hundred and one. So that seems to be working. So let's let's do the first to be the highest number. Just to check the like the corner. Uh, uh, situations let's see if that's gonna pick it up and it, it did it's 105 and let's make this one the last one let's say the lowest which will let's say minus 9 and we still have 105 and minus 9 now so that seems to be working again this is the crucial point we need to because we are looping so since it's a two-dimensional array we have to have a uh, two loops we have to have a nested loop one that goes through each row and the other one that checks one element at a time now again we could simply hard code it but this way with the get length we know it's two dimensional array so the dimension and uh, the element zero here in get length will give us the number of rows and element one will give us the number of columns there is no more dimensions if I change this to 2 it's going to get out of bounds as you can see because there is it says the index was outside the bounds of the array this is only two dimensional array so it only can have 0 and 1 if this was three dimensional array then we would uh, use 0 for number of rows and 2 for the number of, uh, of columns but in this case I mean it's 0 and 1, number of rows, number of columns. All right, so again, if I run it now, I get minus 9 as the lowest and 105 as the highest. All right, so I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, comment and share as much as you like. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.